Um, I'm truly excited to be here this morning. Um, special thanks to the TEDx Corlin event organizers for organizing such a great event. Um, I'm excited about the topic that I'm speaking about today, which is the, the idea of farm to hospital programs. And specifically, I'll be talking about a study that was we already announced uh, published um, last year, and I'll be discussing factors that influence hospitals' participation in farm to hospital programs. So kind of my background and my passion for farm to hospital programs began about four to five years ago during my last year at Prairie View a and University, a historically black college university in Texas. Um, I took a food distribution research class and it kind of exposed us to this idea of food traceability, knowing where your food comes from, knowing your farmers, knowing being able to trace food back to the farm. So the idea of farm to hospital programs can, can potentially improve the economy of local communities and preserve the environment. This idea of farm to hospital programs takes the entire community's involvement to get these kind of programs off the ground. Why farm to hospital programs? Farmers are always looking for ways to better market their products, looking for ways to increase their income. Farming is a very hard job and a very expensive job, and I make it my goal as in my research to find programs and ways to better assist farmers, specifically in communities that are located near or in local food systems. So two preliminary definitions, I'll be throwing out the terms local foods, as well as farm to hospital program throughout my entire talk this morning. Local foods are foods that are produced within the same state or within 400 miles from the location in which the food is being consumed. Now this definition comes from an economic research service report that was uh, that was released in 2010. And then the farm to hospital program definition is the supply chain relationship of locally produced fresh foods between hospitals and farms within the entire hospital food service. Also the inclusion of patient meals as well as the presence of on-site farmers markets. So how do we develop farm to hospital programs? How do we get these programs off the ground? How do we develop farm to hospital programs? So in my research, we had a chance to actually talk to some key informants at hospitals located in New Milford, Connecticut, Burlington, Vermont, and also Ithaca, New York, where Cornell University is located. And what we found from investigating these farm to hospital programs, each hospital has a different level of farm to hospital programs. Some are highly sophisticated and some are still developing farm to hospital programs. And some of the key lessons that we learned is that these hospitals strongly believe in supporting the local economic environment. These hospitals understand the importance of keeping dollars local. They understand the importance of how these kind of programs, such as farm to hospital programs, can truly impact the local economic environment. Secondly, what we learned is that all of these hospitals dedicated at least 40% of their budget to the allocation of local foods, the procurement of local foods. But also what we did learn, um, when it, so with these kind of programs, not only are there great benefits, but there are also great challenges. And what we learned, one of the greatest challenges was supply reliability due to seasonality of production. As many of you all may know or may not know, foods are not produced every month of the year. Sometimes foods take you know, six months to produce or over a year to produce. So these kind of programs have a challenge of supply reliability. And when you're providing food for patients or in hospital food service, you also have dietary guidelines of each patient. So that plays a major role in how the supply that you need. Also, what we found is developing a consistent, ongoing farmer relationship. And later on in the talk, we'll talk about how we can overcome these type of challenges and things like that. So what we did was we conducted a survey of over 101 hospitals here in the Northeast. We sent our survey out to a random sample of 160 hospitals, and about 101 people responded to our survey, 101 food service directors. So what we found out is that the top challenges, as we stated before in our case study, was supply reliability, cost, the lack of access to local food systems, and the seasonality of foods. But the top benefits we found were food safety, support of the local economic environment, the quality of food, the freshness, and also environmental sustainability. So what I want to talk about now is what are the factors that influence hospitals' decisions to adopt farm to hospital program. So one of, the, one of the variables that we found to actually influence hospitals' decisions to adopt a farm to hospital program, after analysis of the data and some econometric modeling, we found out that the healthy food and healthcare 
pledge plays a major role in a hospital influence, hospital developing a farm to hospital program. The Healthy Food and Healthcare Pledge says that a hospital pledges to find ways to better procure local foods and also find more sustainable practices to incorporate within their food service. We also found that the average number of patient meals prepared daily, the percent of farms participating in community supported agriculture as well as hospital location highly influences the hospital's decision, significantly influences a hospital's decision to adopt a farm to hospital program. But what we also found is that neither food service type, so whether they're third party or self-operated, or also the percent of land in a county where the hospital is located, de um, devoted to agriculture, doesn't necessarily affect the hospital's decision to adopt a farm to hospital program. So I gave you the results of our study, which was published last year, but more so, how do we implement farm to hospital programs? How do we get this thing off the ground in communities? How do we really do this thing? We have these results that come from research, but what can the community do? The theme of this TED Talk event today, TEDx Talk event today is, we must do. So it takes the entire community to really implement farm to hospital programs. So first, where to start, you can read our study that was published last year on getting ways to figure out ways to how to identify resources and things of that nature. But the two important concepts I want to discuss is the concept of an internal champion and an external champion. An internal champion is someone who works within the hospital food environment or within the hospital in general and understands the importance of supporting the local economic environment, understands the importance of supporting local farmers, and they have to be internally in the hospital. But then also we need an external champion, someone who is inside the community, someone who understands local local agriculture, someone who understands farmers, someone who understands how we need to keep our dollar, dollars local, we need to support our local economic environment, but we also must incorporate community organizations and food hubs, also universities and, and organizations such as those like that, because what we find is that it takes the entire community to develop these programs, not just one part of the community, but the entire community, because when one part of the community is not involved, this concept will not work, but this is a great opportunity opportunity for farmers to find a great, more consistent or reliable market for them to, to, to implement their foods in. So in conclusion, we find that hospitals are interested in implementing farm to hospital programs. There are opportunities for hospitals to increase their share of procurement of local foods. But what we find is that we must link members of the supply chain inside this entire system, this entire program, in order for us to fully understand how we can keep the dollars local and support our local economic environments. Interme intermediaries play a major role in these programs and the success of farm to hospital programs. And the way that we can do this is by having the internal champion play their role, have the external champion play their role. Now farm to hospital programs have different look very, very different. Some are from directly from the farm to the hospital, and some of these programs are from the farm to the wholesaler, to the distributor, and then to the actual hospital. So these, these programs look very, very different, but there is a potential opportunity to build a network of these programs, but the way that we can build these programs is by educating our communities in the importance of developing these type of programs, and specifically farm to hospital programs. So what excites me the most about this conference and this event is that we must do is that the Farm to Hospital program is an amazing illustration of how, what we must do as a community to keep our dollars local and to support our local economic environment because if we don't support our economic environment, our economic environment will not survive. So farm to hospital programs will play a critical role in assisting farmers and a critical role of assisting our communities because hospitals have missions to, to present, to display, to give their patients, to give their communities a model of healthy eating and healthy living, not only healthy when it comes to our bodies, but also the healthy economies as well. So I'm excited about the future of farm to hospital programs. There's a critical need for more research in this area, but what we find is that we must do and the community must be involved. Not one person can do this, but we all must play our role in developing farm to hospital programs, specifically here in the United States, and then we can become more global in our thinking about farm to hospital programs. Thank you.